The second new CTGP update of 2024 was just released, which includes four new tracks, two major updates, and four minor updates. The four tracks removed in this update are Color Circuit, GCN Dry Dry Desert, N64 Calamari Desert, and Star Slope. In today's video, I'm going to walk through the new tracks and the major updates. Comment down below what your favorite tracks are and what you think of this update. First track we've got here is Bluster Blob Bluff. And honestly, it's been a while since you've seen a uh, pretty creative snow track with a, a different theme than the stereotypical ones. So honestly, this is a very nice change of pace. As you can see here, we got some split paths right away. I'm gonna go this way lap one because I honestly don't really know where I'm going. So, you know, we're gonna find stuff out together today. You know, we're gonna be really exploring these tracks. And so far from this basic route, this looks pretty fun. We're gonna go up top here. This is maybe acting like the like the stream from Koopa Cape. Overall though, I really do like the look of this track. I think that this one, I don't know. I'm sure it'll give some very interesting races. Although I don't know how I feel about this being ice. That is one thing that I think is kind of weird. I don't know if that's a shortcut over there either. And I'm gonna make sure I don't get past that TC. Now I don't know how much faster or slower this top route would be, but oh, am I gonna get hit by that green? Nah, I don't think so. That's all good. We got a nice back to the start here. And there is another route on the bottom. I'm not sure how exactly you're supposed to get down there, but may maybe it's like a shock route or something. All right, lap two, we're gonna try to take some different routes here. What is with all these reds? I'm gonna get pushed off of, dude, I just wanted to take the top route, man. All right, maybe that's what I get for choosing hard CPUs. I don't know. Okay, DK, that's a little bit too much aggression. But nah, I mean, I think you get up top there, like on the left, I think you can get up there with a shroom, but I know you can do this shroomless. If you just like go over here, get a trick. There we go, nice and easy, just like that. Now, I don't know what I expect this one to be because it doesn't seem like there are a lot of really overpowered shroom cuts. So this one might just be a front runner. And I'm gonna go bottom path this time just to see what's going on down here. Got a little bit of a change of scenery. There is a shroom cut there as you can see. Not sure how much time that'll save. It looks like it actually might save a, a decent bit, but I'm not gonna assume anything for now. Oh, I just noticed that that thing kind of shut closed as I went through. That, that was pretty cool. All right, let's take this top path this time and not get hit off of it. All right, now I don't know if that'll be faster than taking, okay, well it probably will be because of the trick boost at the end. And I, I wasn't able to take that upper route there at all, really unfortunate stuff there. But we're gonna take this other route here since we haven't done that, just go nice and tight. I'm not sure why you would go wide if I'm being honest. It's kind of hard to find a valid reason to do that, but I don't know, maybe I'm missing something just after one playthrough. Now I should be able to just go, oh, that's not a good idea. Okay, you know what, I thought I could do that. I guess not. Oh wow, I actually got the start boost. All right, we're gonna go up here again. I believe this this should be trickable, right? Yep, perfect. And then just gonna be able to go in that, down this route once again. Gonna try not to get hit by this thing. Let's go, oh, I hit the wall though. Oh, what the heck? Dude, I like, that was crazy. I kind of stuck to that, that was so weird. But yeah, there you go, that's Bluster Blob Bluff. I know I didn't really talk about the track that much, but like, hey, it looks pretty good. You know, I didn't really have too much confusion trying to figure out where to go, but I don't know, I'm excited to see if that one's gonna turn into a, uh, a lap three comeback sort of track or if it's actually gonna be a runner. All right, next up we have Starry Cityscape. And this one, I've been kind of excited for. And you know, no, it's not because there's two laps on it. Although it has been a while since we've had a pretty good two lap track. Will this one be able to fill in that gap? I'm not 100% sure. That's kind of up to you guys. Let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments down below. I'm personally excited for this one too, because already as we can see compared to Bluster Blob Bluff, there are a lot more shortcuts. I mean, they are just grass cuts, but I mean, and, I mean, shortcuts are shortcuts, you know? That's the important part. Now I have played this one once or twice before, so I know there are a few strats on it. I'm gonna do one right here. You should be able to do a down trick and then just cut off a gap right there, just like that. And this part is always the one that throws me off. So I think what you do, you can like up. Well, that's not what I meant to do. Cause ideally you should be going over to the side and getting one more trick. And let's see, oh, that was really bad. Oh gosh, okay, ignore my driving. I'm like driving really poorly right now. Cause I honestly don't know where I'm going on some of these tracks. That's all right. It's all part of the learning process, you know? Now I believe those bumps are like BC3 low tricks. So you should be able to do them just like that. Now, can I get a double trick here? 
No, I cannot. Okay, I'm gonna take this left route lap one just to, you know, be nice and standard with it, show you guys the default route, even though I didn't even do that at the beginning of the lap. That's all right. Now, I know there are some strats here. I think what you can do is like, okay, it, pretend you didn't see that. that. That was a terrible, terrible attempt. But overall, I really like the scenery of this track. You know, it's like, you know, it's literally in the name, like Cityscape, you know? It's kind of a cool thing going for it. I think you should just be able to hop up here. Yeah, I don't know how much faster that'll be, but it does set you up nicely for lap two, just going up top here. Cutting off a little bit of that turn should save a decent amount over just going on the bottom But I don't know. I mean, I don't know how I feel about this track because like the city section itself is kind of confusing as you're able to see on lap one and You do actually end up taking a different route on lap two and well, okay Well first I gotta get rid of gotta deal with this blue shell whenever it's showing up. Where is it? There we go. Okay, that's like forever to show up. All right Really like getting comboed by the pallet dude. Come on. All right, we're just gonna take this bottom route here. I'm not gonna do a fancy turn skip this time. I'm just gonna take the nice regular route, make it nice and easy on ourselves. This time we're gonna go right on the city section. Gonna see what this offers us. If I remember correctly, I believe there was a shroom shortcut somewhere on this. Yep, you can see over there where I'm throwing my green shell. You can take that route with a shroom. Cut off a little bit. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, a similar low trick to lap. Where am I going? Where do I go there? I'm so lost. Uh, okay, I don't know if I was supposed to respawn here, but I genuinely have no clue where I'm going there. And yeah, as you can see there, we have those BC3 low tricks. Hey, there we go. All right, I'm going to try this strat right here. I believe all you got to do is just go off with a TF strat. And then maybe I can stay on. Let's go. All right, I was really worried about staying on there. Okay, well, I won't lie. I don't know where I'm supposed to go on that other route, but... You know, I'll figure it out after an online race or two. You know, if I even decide to do that. But we're approaching the very end here. Overall, this one's not bad. I feel like if there weren't any shortcuts on it, it would be a lot worse. But since there are a decent amount of shortcuts on it, I expect it to give some pretty exciting races. But will it be as comeback heavy or potential as Bluster Blob Bluff? That I have my doubts about. Everything will sort of happen towards the start of the lap, I think. Or on lap two's case, it'll be once you get to the city section. I don't know. I, I mean, it's the same thing with updates. You know, you never know what type of online races are going to give until you actually play them. So that's all I got to say about that one for now. For those of you who have been in the scene for a while, you will recognize this track. This is none other than Super Sky Courtyard making its grand return after... Dude, I don't even know how many years. It's just been too long since we've seen this track in the pack. Now... Am I excited to see this one back in the pack? That's a question for another time. Because, honestly, there were a lot of problems with this track when it was first in CTGP. But it was a hot fix by a few people. Apparently this one was in development for a while, but it did take some time. So, it's good to see it finally getting in the pack. And in case you guys have, did not know, this is the track that is replacing Star Slope. Since Star Slope was the secret track. So, that one was already... Okay, what am I doing? Okay, well, the chain chomp there is going to be a little bit of a problem, but if you're just, you know, not bad at the game- Oh my gosh! I'm bumped off twice! Okay, like I said, if you're just not bad at the game, you'll be fine. And I'm starting to fall behind. Oh wait, actually, this might be good. Maybe I can get a mushroom. Alright, guys, I'm going to try to get some mushrooms. Maybe I can get two or three. I'm going to see if I can- Maybe triple shrooms? Triple reds? Ah, oh, dude, come on. Alright, I want, I want to see if I can pull some shrooms at the start of next lap, because that way- Maybe I can show off the shortcut for you guys real quick. Now, I actually don't know if I can take all these turns really tight when I'm small. I'm going to assume no, but either way, I want to try to stay behind because I want to try to pull some mushrooms. All right, let's see if I can pull triple shrooms here. Come on. Okay, cool. So there's a two shroom shortcut up here that you can take. I'm going to see if I can do it right. You just got to be able to do this and then do that. And then you should be able to skip those U-turns right there and land over here. And just like that, back in first place. Now, the other thing we're going to see if we can hold on to this shroom for the end of this lap. Because there actually is one more shortcut at the start of the lap. No! And yeah, I just jinxed myself with that one. But since I can't take it now, there is a shortcut at the start of the lap. Where you use the beginning platform. You do a shroom and you hop trick. And then you'll be able to land up top skipping the first hairpin. And then this turn here, you can just go tight. I Okay, I actually did it. I thought I was going to fail that. But yeah, I mean, this one, 
If you guys were around at this time, let me know what you think about it. Ooh, give me that star. Okay, maybe we get a dodge, you know? Maybe we'll dodge in the ground star. Maybe we'll dodge in the cannon. I don't know. Come on. Ah, no such luck. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this track making its comeback. I know there were a lot of other tracks that were potentially making a comeback to CTGP, but this one did end up winning off of a poll that was conducted a while ago. How am I hitting that? Anyway. But, you know, are there any other tracks from the old times of CTGP that you guys want to see come back? If so, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know what you guys think about this one making a comeback. Because I know there are a lot of mixed opinions about how this one was received back in the day as well. I mean, I won't lie. I like this track because this used to have a cart BKT on it. And honestly, that was one of the most fun times I've had in time trialing. Once I switched over to Mock Bike, though, this became a lot harder to play. I will admit that. So... Maybe I have a little bit of bias against it because it's not cart anymore, but that's all right. As long as it's a mock bike, that I can get behind. Okay, I really don't know how I'm not falling off there, but either way, we're approaching the very end of this race now. And, I, you know, this one will prove to be a challenge for some players. I won't be surprised if it if it doesn't prove to be, or if it does prove to be a challenge. But yeah, going to round this last turn. going to try to go nice and tight, see if we can get an early tight turn, and we got it. And that, my friends, is Super Sky Courtyard. Time to move on to the final new track of this update. The final new track we have today is the Great Apple War. And, you know, I feel the need to point this out. I think the number one notable thing about this track is the ridiculous amount of authors it has. It has over 30 authors on this track. I'm not even going to bother listing them in the video. Like, if you want to find out the list of authors, head to the video description and check out the wiki page for this track because... I am not going to put the energy into listing that many authors on the screen right now because it's just going to block out the entire thing. Now, I'll also provide a little bit of lore because everything about this track is actually just pure insanity. Apparently, this originated from a Discord server where a, a debate was going on between whether or not red apples or green apples were favorable. I don't remember the exact outcome, but I do know that in terms of like the authors being listed, it just ended up being anyone that contributed in any capacity to the creation of this track. As for how this track actually plays out, I think it looks pretty cool. Like the layout is definitely unique, one that we one that definitely doesn't feel repetitive at all. That's like the only thing I was really worried about with a track like this. But it definitely seems to have a pretty good layout. A cannon at the beginning of the track that's not too long. Gonna see if I can I believe you can Okay, I did not need a hop trick there, but you get the idea. There are there is a shroom shortcut there that I won't be able to show off because, you know. I'm not really good at pulling shrooms, apparently. And I hope I don't end up hitting a fib there. As you can see, we have these apples falling off here. You can get hit by those since they do have the same collision as the DK Mountain boulders. And I don't know if you guys saw that for a moment. We had a green little guy with sunglasses peeking out from the rocks in the background, which I think is a pretty cool feature. Those bombs are insane. Oh, that's trickable. Okay. I actually didn't know that. I thought that was, a, I thought it was gonna be solid. <laughs> All right, moving on to lap three of this. Going to take this nice and tight once again. Going to see if I can do this section a little bit better. Also, you know, we got a lot of engagement with this one, you know? Down in the comments down below, let me know what you guys think is better. Red apples, green apples. I personally can't go wrong with a red apple. You can never go wrong with that. Green apples, I don't know, bro. They're not really for me. Also, we get to see our green little dude. There he is over there, yep. Just got a quick, a quick glimpse at him. So, going to be finishing up this lap right here. Going to pass by this tree section one more time. A bomb blown up. Okay, I don't think the bombs are getting too much in the way. Oh, this blooper effect is nice. I just noticed that. And there we go. That is the Great Apple War. And that concludes the brand new tracks that were introduced in this CTGP update. So now let's move on to the major updates. If you're an OG, once again, you are going to like this update. We have Aquadrom Stage. And I know we've had a few updates to this one in the past, but this one is bringing back the old layout, which has been long overdue because I honestly have never liked the new layout. However, there is one important change that was made to this layout, and I want to know your guys' thoughts on it. Instead of having a very sharp left turn, now you have a nice spiral here. And I believe if you go like this, just approach at the right angle, you can actually stick up top and save a significant amount of time. Okay, I'm kind of surprised I was able to get that on Dolphin because, you know, I'm not used to playing on Dolphin Emulator. But I also got a perfect wall trick. So, uh, yeah, you know what? 
this, this track used to be very front run heavy, that is one thing. So now this new shortcut on the right, or left, it is takeable with one shroom. Will probably result in a lot of lap 3 comebacks, just for that reason. Now, we're gonna go around here on the lap 2 section, just to see what this bottom path looks like. And I believe I should be able to- up. Oh, okay, alright, I forgot there is actually a viable route. So I believe you should be able to do this, and then wheelie over, and then take a shroomless just like that. Saving a little bit of time. Just get a nice little double trick there, and I'm gonna see if I can do this spiral strat correct once again. It can be a little bit tricky because of the top of the pipe. It can straight up reject you like that. So, a little bit of caution when going for that strat, because the top of that pipe has very funny collision. It can result in some very funny interactions. That being said though, this ending section is still nice and simple. I'm happy they kept this the way they way it was, but adding a shortcut at the same time because a lot of the time there really wasn't a whole lot of player interaction, especially in the current version or in the old version of Aqua Drum Stage, the one right before this one. So it'll be really curious to see what sort of races happen as a result of that. Now we're gonna go over here, see if we can get anything sort of, I, I believe you could also do this, get a trick like that and then go over here uh nice barely made that so that's kind of a weird version to do it ideally what you want to do is go on the top at the beginning and then get a low trick into that shroomless so let's see if we can get this any any more to okay yep see you never know what's gonna happen when you try that that's why it's very dangerous i don't know i still don't know how i got that on lap one that was insane that i even got that once okay okay i, I tried being cool i should not have tried that <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, we're approaching the end of Aquadrom stage here. Let me know what you guys think of this one, because I am so excited to have this layout back. And will it give good races? Man, I hope so. I'm going to be really sad if this doesn't end up giving good races, because that would be a huge letdown for such an amazing layout of a track. But anyway, that is the end of Aquadrom stage. So now we're going to head over to our last track, the second major update in the CTGP update. Last but not least, we have a major visual overhaul to Castle of Time by Mega, of course. And this track has been a staple for OG CT players for a long time. Immediately you can see that beginning area is a lot more open than it was in the old version. Do I like it? Absolutely, because getting item boxes there was extremely challenging. As for five single boxes there, that, that might turn out to be a problem. But I don't know, maybe I'm just over-exaggerating it. Now, I believe this cut should be the exact same. Yep, it plays exactly the same as the old version. This version should be just fine as well. And honestly, I'm a fan of these visuals. You know, I think that the problem with the old version of Castle of Time is that after after a lot many years, it's just that the textures on it are kind of outdated. You know, there's a lot of tracks that exceed it visually. So it's kind of nice to see the sort of visual overhaul to give it a brand new reskin, a little bit of a breath of life, a nice, you know, a little bit of fresh air to some extent, because, you know, now we have a lot more grass all around here instead of just a void in the castle section. And now here, you got all this, like, tree life. The castle is a lot more colorful. And I honestly, and, oh yeah, the edge of that rail actually has a boost panel texture on it now, so you don't have to guess whether or not it's a, um, it's a trick ramp. I just noticed that that set back there, the set used to be right where I passed, and it was actually moved back a little bit. And then this set was also moved up here. I believe, so now I wonder if there's a set at the very end anymore. As you'll, you'll be able to see in just a second, there was a set after this ramp right here. If you go down below, oh, there's still item boxes here. Okay, so I think that sh I think that is an added item box set to this track. Anyway, entering lap two, we do have a few extra touches on this track that have been kind of hard to notice. You might be able to notice on the arrows, we got a Triforce design going for them. I think that's pretty cool. This track always did have a lot of references to the Triforce and Legend of Zelda. So it's kind of good to see them still playing onto that. So I honestly did think that was very unique in regards to this track and, you know, in comparison to all the other tracks in the pack. We're going to go around this time, kind of see what's going on around here. You can see a lot more of the other parts of the track now compared to the previous version as well, which is honestly pretty nice. Okay, I, I'm, I need to stop failing. You know, I failed at least on this track, but it's still like... You know, still enough to be a sort of a problem. That, that's the really important part here. I, I'm getting too many mini turtles here. So I, sh so I saw that this rail... Yeah, this rail is also trickable. I don't know if that was, like, actually a strat in the, in the previous version. If it was, I never, ever went for that. 
If that was a strat, let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, also that sticky ramp right there, I think that's a really nice change because getting that air time there was kind of pointless and it just resulted in a lot of like bumping interactions such as wheelie bumps and you could potentially lose races off of that. Another thing that's really nice, they kept this blue shell shelter here. Whole point of the shelter is to have a nice low ceiling. Okay, really? Now nah, that's just that's just unlucky timing. You know, I could have demonstrated the blue shell shelter really nicely if that came like three seconds earlier. But no, it just had to come right then and there. But with the low ceiling, you can cancel your blue shell slightly by just getting sent up a lot less. Anyway, we're gonna stay on the railing this time. I believe there is a boost uh, texture. Oh, there's not. So I think you gotta go wide there if you want to ramp. You can't actually trick off the railing anymore. But anyway, that is going to be the conclusion of Castle of Time and also the conclusion of this CTGP update. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below, a W or an L update. And of course, what was your favorite track from the update? What was your least favorite track from the update? Always looking to find out. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.